Hey guys, Bing here, and today I'm going to show you how to model a facade looks like this one. Okay, so let's start. So first, uh, let's create a oh sorry, a mass, and let's go to floor plan, and I'm going to just draw a reference line and a spline. And on one, two, three, one, two, three. So this will be the roughly the shape of the building at um, the facade. And go to 3D view, select this spline, create form. So that's you know the uh, yeah the overall height. And then select this face, divide surface. And then let's adjust the height. Uh, sorry, uh, the the grid, the horizontal grid, seven should be fine, and the vertical grid, six. Yep. So now, um, let me show you if we use the curtain panel pattern base family. So if I change the pattern to rectangle. So you will see all these panels become a uh, flat. Um, no, I don't think that this is what we made, what we want. So let's control Z. I'm going to model some adaptive family to place it on this. But before that, I'm going to turn the nodes on so we can later place the uh, the family on on this node. Okay, so now let's go to create a new family so this time generic model adaptive and we are we're going to need some uh, points okay so one two three four five six seven points and go to front view i'm going to copy them up and um, actually we don't need some of them so these are all the points we need okay so now select all the top one create a spline and a reference line and now let me show you let me show you how we're we going to get this uh, this mass this face so it will be a, a, a mass created from this line and one long here and then like this one so we will create all these uh, reference lines and for these ones the, uh, so the one on the this uh, on the end they are vertical and all the middle one there will be an angle between you know there will be an angle there okay so let's do it so uh, I'm not going to use all these points because these are these points are uh, used or oh, actually I forgot to change them into um, adaptive so these points are used for the for to um, for placing the, the the family okay so for those profile for this profile we're going to create another uh, new point so point draw on face and place it here so um, I'm going to create roughly, let me think, one, two, maybe four should be enough. I'll just get rid of this one. So we're going to create four, four points along this uh, reference line. So first, I'm going to create this one, and then reference point, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the horizontal work plan of this point and place it on the point and OK and drag this point down and so um, we're going to need a offset so see here it's a it's a negative offset that's fine I'll create a, a parameter let's call it um, H negative instance OK and OK and here we're going to create a reporting parameter so 
we need we need this offset to uh, equal this okay so before that we're going to create these two uh, the uh, reference line between these two points so spline reference line and also this this reference line will become one of the profile of that face so which is this one this one and also this one will be this at this end I'll just create now okay so so the reporting parameter so now let's do the reporting parameter set work plan pick this reference line di make sure you pick the point pick the point and this will be the reporting parameter so I'll call it um, h instance okay oh sorry instance reporting okay so now go back to the family type so previously we did this hn negative equals negative h okay so now if i drag if i move this point one so you will see this point will follow okay and then select cl oh, sorry click on this point and here we will have this rotation angle let's just type in 10 so you will see it will, rot it will rotate this point okay so um 10 uh, I, I will create a parameter for this angle so i'll call it a half angle angle half half angle instance okay and okay so now select these two points and create a spline and make it reference line so uh hell hell um i'm not sure if i can copy the can, can copy whether uh maybe i i shouldn't create a reference line let me try okay so select this point make new yep now that's fine that's good so yep and then this point will be the second oh, actually i forgot to change the lo uh, location of this point so select this point so here we're just going to change it to 0 0.2 and for this one i'm going to change it to 0 0.4 okay and um for the angle here so select this point because we copied this from here so see this one is already linked to a half a so i'm going to create a new one so i call it a angle and also go to family type i'm going to give half a a formula so equals a divided by two and apply so you will see this this angle rotate become a half of this angle a so now we're going to need another one here and another one here so the one here will be will be the same of this one so i'll just copy this select this point pick new holes and then oh sorry select this point pick new holes and uh, no longer determine a plan um no yes should be fine okay and select this point i'll move it to 0 0.4 sorry six and again cc this point pick new holes place it here okay select this one and type in 0 0.8 so now select tab select this one two three four five six and create a form so this will be the uh, panel okay so now let's try let's change this angle so if i change to 70 you'll see yep that's good or maybe what we can do is if you want to you know like uh, reduce the angle at this side and make here more you know flat maybe we can do is we can change this to instead of 0.8 we can change it to 0.9 and for this one maybe we can change it to 0.7 here we can change this to 0.3 and the, this one will change it to 0.1 so yeah i think 
you can always adjust them. You can even create more instead of four. You can have more, but I think should be enough. So now let's load this into the mass. Let's go to 3D view and let's place it. Or oh, actually, before I place it, I want to I'll just cancel it and I'll just edit this family. I want to check this always vertical. Okay, so low back and override. And I'll delete this one. I'll create a new one. So point one will be here, and point two here, and point three, one, two, three, four. 5, 6, and 7. And then, okay, so looks like it's on the wrong direction. That's fine. We can just check this flip. And looks like, looks like something's wrong with the offset here. So let's have a look. So edit family. Let's have a look at this point. Um, to, so this one's linked to HN, which is, I think that's correct. Let's try, I'll just move this point up. Uh, looks like, uh, hang on. HN equals negative H. Where's my, uh, where's my, uh, it's here, sorry. Okay, my H is here. So let me just try to move this up. Looks like a lost, yeah, because just like I said, when I copy from here, because I already have the reference line created, so we will have some issue. So let's let's just do it again. So instead of have this reference line there already, I'll dissolve it, okay, and then I'll delete this one delete this one and delete this one so select these two points without reference line make sure that's only line oh sorry only point Co copy cc and pick new host pick here and this one will be 0 0.3 and also this angle will be a so cc oh sorry we need to pick this point and as well as this point cc and pick this point pick new host pick on this reference line select this point this one will be uh, 0 0.7 i believe and the last one so select this one cc select this point and pick new host pick on this reference line select this point change it to 0 0.9 so now we can create the reference line, okay? So not before the copy, after the copy. So um, reference line and the last one, spline, reference line. So now we can select, tab, select this one, two, three, four, five, six, and create form. And now we can load this load this into the mass so now you can see the uh, the, the offset of the, po the point will, will match the height of the grid okay so now we can select this one and then repeat and then select this uh, repeater remote repeater so now we can uh, so this one's 70, so maybe this one we can change it to 60, this one change it to 50, and this one change it to 40, change it to 30, 20, and 10, so something like this. Okay, so, um, and also we, we probably need some you know to set on to break this this panel and what we can do is we can uh, use a uh, so what's this sorry 
we can place some adaptive adaptive about adaptive family in the panel so let me just do it edit family so we are going to place some adaptive family on this panel okay so create a new um, family so generic model adaptive and okay so place two point one two make adaptive spline reference line and then place a point draw on face draw on face and and create a, a profile set work plan pick this work plan or just roughly uh, place it here and then I'll maybe change the size to 10 by 10 and roughly uh, locate I'll just use the keyboard okay so yeah that's that's that should be enough and also I'm going to copy another one and pick new host and then select these two uh, profile create form wireframe WF select this point I'll move it to one and select this point move it to zero so now SD shade or HL so see uh, this this will be uh, a line to break our panels so load this into uh, I don't know which one family 2 so load this into family 2 and um, oh sorry before that we're going to uh, device use divide surface so divide surface and uh, let me change this to now and depending on how many um, panel you need so for example this one maybe I need six panel uh, six panel and then go here check the nodes and also check the original surface and okay so now go create component place it on the nodes one two and then select this family repeat so now one two three four five six seven a six panel now load this back into the mess and I'll overwrite so looks like uh looks like looks like uh, the panels are uh, all you know separate it's it's actually just a you know a little thing but uh, i think it should be enough um yeah that's that's it uh, so if you have any question please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye